That's right, in this video, we are going to be trying energy drinks from all around the world. I can taste piss on your tongue. <laughs> Fun times. Right, let's start with everyone's favorite, the US. Well, not everyone's favorite, but the US of A and Monster. So this is actually US Monster, Ultra Watermelon. We're going to be rating these out of, I don't know, whatever I decide, because it's my video. Or whatever you decide. Eight. Out of eight. <laughs> out of eight. Zero sugars. I mean, don't get me started about energy drinks with zero sugar. You get energy from sugar, from carbohydrates. You can have protein, you can have fat. It's got zero carbs, zero protein, zero fat. Where's the energy in that? Has it got caffeine? Well, you, well, yeah, but caffeine is a stimulant, it's not energy. Fake news! There's no energy in it, no energy at all. Caffeine from all sources is 150 milligrams per can. I don't know if that's a lot or not. <laughs> no idea, we have to compare but we'll to compare else. it to others. Right, it certainly smells like watermelon, which is, I guess, good. Cheers. It's not offensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good start. Eight out of ten. I mean, eight out of eight. Um, I quite like it. It's not too sweet. Presumably because it's got no sugar in it. It's it has like... more like a, a raspberry oh, yeah, actually. flavour to it than just... watermelon. You know how watermelon flavours can be a bit thin or really mm. fake? So... It's almost like it's backed up by something else. Yeah, there's like a an initial hit of maybe watermelon and then it tastes a bit berry-like. Yeah. I would rate it five out of eight. It's good and I'd drink it again. I would actually rate it six because I think it tastes like soft drink. Going with the theme of Monster and Ultra Watermelon, boom! That is the UK can. That was weird. I wasn't rubbing that against myself sexually. That was just I was trying to wipe off the condensation. I love you, Monster. Um, caffeine, it just says 0.03%. Oh, don't make me do math. Math? Maths? We say maths in this country. We say math. Math doesn't make sense. There's more than one, it's plural. I would say identical colour. Smells the same. If anything, I think that one's nicer. I think this one tastes, the, the US one tastes slightly more... Fruity. Yeah, but acidic. The, the, the UK one tastes waterier. Waterier, is that mm -hmm. word? More watery, thinner. Yeah, I can. I can Less flavour. I actually prefer it thinner, not because it's. I'm biased because it's from the UK. <laughs> Wait, what did I say that one was? Five? Yeah. I mean, it's like five and a half. It's only slightly better. We have a favourite each. Team UK and Team US. Wrong. <laughs> Moving on. Blue Spark. If you can't afford Red Bull, you might be able to afford Blue Spark. It smells. Oh god, it smells like nights out in Boston. Yeah, no, I was just thinking the same thing. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's. It was like the that smell that really held me back. There is a fruity flavour to it. That's not bad. Like, I actually think that's just not. It, again, it's quite watery. It's quite. Yeah, thin. Thin. So I'd probably give that a five. It's fine. It's fine. It's like a. It's, it's, it's fine. It's three and a half. Out of eight. Grenade! Because it explodes. Put it in, Johnny. Now. Uh, this is a UK company. I'm sure you can maybe get this abroad, but this is also UK. And this is Cherry Bomb, presumably riffing off the explosive theme. Zero sugar, again. Just noticing a theme. Naturally derived caffeine extract. Is 155 milligrams of natural caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> What's unnatural caffeine? Zombie caffeine. I don't why, know. Why just... was the zombie making ghost noises? Ghost zombie caffeine! It tastes um, like watery cherry. It's actually quite a little bit unpleasant. It yeah. tastes alcoholic almost. You know, well, cherry for me has quite a medicinal taste, which is why some cherry flavours I don't particularly like. This has gone for more of the berry bit. Quite acidic though, as well. I can feel it in the back of my teeth. Of all the ones we've tried, this one's really sweet. And this, yeah, I agree. This is really this sweet. is definitely the sweetest. It's a two out of eight. Red Bull. Why do people think that drinks that look like piss? <laughs> That's not how I remember Red Bull tasting. I thought the same thing. Is it because it doesn't have vodka in it? <laughs> um, I think it's fruity, 
but it's not as nice as the, the cheap knockoff. And the cheap knockoff is like maybe half the price. So don't get rid of Red Bull. Get Blue Spark. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really like it. Two out of whatever. Yeah, I'm going to give it like... Two. Yeah, I'll probably give it a two. Thailand Red Bull. Thai Bull. Thai Bull. Thai Red Bull. It's thick. It's thick. 50 milligrams of caffeine for 150 milliliters of this, which, if my math is correct... <laughs> I don't know what it is. So it's like 33 milligrams per 100 liters. I'm not looking forward to this one. I think mostly because it's not fizzy. Oh, well, wow. Oh, my goodness. That tastes like it's medicine. Yeah, it's way thicker, way sweeter, and far more of a medicinal taste. But the taste, it does taste like not that Red Bull, but like but amplified almost. It's way stronger taste. Yeah, I mean, this And it's thick. thick. I quite like it. Um, I don't like. I don't. Too. I probably wouldn't drink it every day. I'd say it's probably four. I don't think you can get through a bottle of that. Maybe not. I feel slightly yeah. sick. Maybe three. We're continuing the theme of Thailand, and we're going with Carabao, also from the the land of Thai food and Thai people. Thailand. Looks. It's also quite thick. As in. Dense. Whoa! Yeah. That's like. What does that look need like? Need to go to the hospital. I can't. I can't put my finger on what that tastes like. It's not as medicinal as Red Bull. I feel like the coating is not just sugar. It's almost a little bit oily. Yes, it tastes like it tastes oily in your claggy mouth feel. Mm. Or, I can feel that on my lips. It feels like it's coated everything. And yeah. yes, my lips. I don't, I can't tell you what that tastes like. Maybe slightly flowery. It's not as sweet as Red Bull. F slightly fruity. It, oh, it's sweet. Yeah. Um, I d really don't like that. It makes me feel a bit sick. One. That's a one from me. And also because it was quite watery at the end. I think this is also Thai. And this is M150. Nifty. It smells like a combination of the last two. Red yeah. Bull plus Carabao. Mm. <coughs> that doesn't taste of anything other than sugar. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, I had too much of a mouthful on that. Oh, that is not pleasant. That's way too sweet Whoa. to drink. It tastes, it's very, it's just sweet. And there's a massive hit of sweetness. And then I think it's a, just acidity like lemony acidity Maybe. let's move to france we actually went and collected this we one. actually <laughs> went all the way to france to get this one thing i mean we did other stuff because 20 milligrams close. per 100 mil so low that is really low that is really low crazy oh it's oh it's sparkling oh that oh is God. very uriny but not mm. as thick Oh, thick urine. What did we rate the last one? Oh, that last one was a zero. M150 is a zero. It's f nasty. Excuse the swear word. Ooh. It's very sweet. It's very sweet. It's in the vein of Red Bull. It's that sort of mm. slight fruitiness, but no herbal or medicinal stuff. It's just fruit. It's like fake fruit, lemon, maybe orangey. It's okay. It's all right, actually. It's just because it tastes a lot like red... Two out of eight for I'll lack it, of originality. I'll give it three. It's not, it's not awful. We've had awful. So far, if you want the biggest caffeine hit, stay well away from France. And there may be other reasons to stay well away from France as well. Let's go for a little bit of Poland. Black energy gold. Let's go with that one first. That's the most. I feel like it's pineapple. One. I feel like that's pineapple flavour. No. Pineapple flavour. The most pineapple-y of pineapple drinks you can buy on the Poland market. Pineapple, pineapple. I think it's pineapple. It's watery and thin, and tastes a bit like pineapple. Yeah, but but also really medicinal as well. It's not like so gross that I wouldn't drink it if I was 
dying. Three out of eight. I'll give it a two. I don't really like it. Engineine. Or just engine. You don't know. You don't speak Polish. Does it just taste like the one that we had previously? It tastes... It, it tastes exactly like black gold, energy gold, without the pineapple quality to it. Nope, that is a even worse than the last one. Two out of eight. Tiger. It's another... Oh my lord. Oh. It almost tastes a bit sandy. Yeah, it's, it's really <clears throat> bittery. You like get a flavour of thin, watery flavour initially, then there's a real acidic kick to it, and then you get sweet coating. Sweet coating. And it's it's just sweet and acidic. It's the worst out of the Red yeah. Bull themed ones. That, that is not nice. One. Yeah. Yuck! Don't buy. Now let's head to somewhere completely different. To China and monster. Yes, they have Chinese monster, but it is a flavour that I think they don't do elsewhere, called... Ooh, whatever that says. I think it's energy, it's lemon, but I think it also is tea. Lemon tea. Ooh. I hate tea. Smells like oh, it tea. Tells, it smells like it. It's not fizzy. It's not fizzy. It's quite nice. And that is like exactly what you said. Ooh. Lemon and the hint of tea, but not like yucky tea. Ice lem lemon iced tea. It almost tastes like fresh lemons. That doesn't, that tastes like a fresh lemonade as opposed to an energy drink. Yeah, it's really, oh yeah, very nice. I would drink that. I would drink that. I am drinking it, but you know what I mean? I would drink that out of choice. I mean, I'm also drinking this out of choice. <sighs> But that is I preferable to um, watermelon. I would give it, what did I give this one? Five? Six. Did I give it six? No, you gave your six. Five, six. No, hmm, six. Now let's move on to Japan. Ultra Paradise. It's fizzy. green and fizzy. <gasps> Kiwi? Melon? Think... It's melon. But it's like... Is it kiwi? It, there's a not, not a particularly nice taste immediately as it enters your mouth. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit of a shock, but it's really fruity. I don't I know, know if it's like rock melon or cantaloupe or one of those melons. It's cantaloupe, not cantaloupe. No, it definitely is not. Is it not? It's definitely cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Piss off! <laughs> How do British pronounce? Cantaloupe. 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 Oh, it's kiwi, lime, and cucumber. I said kiwi. I said kiwi. I said kiwi. Yeah. I said kiwi. Um, not I also cantaloupe. mentioned some definitely correctly pronounced melon names as well, but they weren't that. They weren't in it. Yeah, kiwi, lime, and cucumber. So that would be why it's really fresh. You take your kiwi comes first. Yeah, because the citrus is. Kiwi comes first, and then there's sort, there is a sort of underlying cucumbery taste, and then there's a slightly acidic hit from the lime. And then the lime is the sort of finish in and your mouth. I actually really like that. I might put that one there. What? 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 And it's like I was just rewinding myself. I'm going to try them again. Ooh, a cliffhanger. Oh, that's this so one. exciting. Pakari sweat. What? The sweat of Pakaris. Smells a bit lemony, but. Ooh, I can smell that. Mm. Oh, that doesn't smell lemony. That smells like um unpleasantness. Stomach acid. Ooh, wee. That's a hard no from me. It tastes almost like nothing to start with, like actual like water, and then slowly a flavour emerges, but it tastes like. When you have so the effervescent, effervescent powdery stuff in the drink, it tastes like the chemical flavour that you can taste from that. It's 
um, it's kind of unpleasant. That's a zero for me. I'm not even going to try it again. Yeah, it's one. It's just not. Yuck. It's not very nice. And also, he's sweat. Sweat. Well, at least it's not this. Tia Vita. This one is also from Japan, and it is high fructose, so it's got sugar and stuff. Yeah. And it comes in these bottles, and it's not ooh, fizzy. Ooh, ooh. <gasps> oh lord, it's it's fluorescent. <laughs> oh, oh my fucking hell, that God. smells like piss. That actually does that smell, that that smells smells like, like piss. That actually smells like piss. Like it has that really I like. I don't want to drink that. I don't think I can drink it. Okay, I'll drink it because I know you will just vomit. Is it okay? It's not great. <laughs> it's not nice. Maybe just block your nose. <coughs> <laughs> oh god, the smell. <laughs> I can taste piss on the tongue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell is that? Well, it's like slightly, it's like tea. But can you but taste it afterwards? It tastes like bad breath. <laughs> oh, that's oh, really unpleasant. Oh, don't, that's minus. Don't ever drink that. Minus points. That's the <laughs> most disgusting thing I've had in a long, long time. It's like that Drake meme. But worse than that, there needs to be another. It's like, it's like yes to 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 this. Can I? It's take like. Mm, to most of that, and then the, the next one is like Bleh! Precautions for use. Diarrhea may occur. Oh, I don't want I don't want diarrhea. Estonia, I think. Dyn dynam tea? Dynam dynamite? Dynamite tea. Dynamite tea. Dynamite. Dynamite. Oh. This this is something new. Foil over the top. Why would you... So you don't have any poo cans? Ah, zero poo cans. Yes. Consume moderately. Inadvisable mix with alcohol. Hmm. It smells like Red Bull. I think it's thin and it doesn't taste really very much. It's like very, very, very thin Red Bull. So if yeah. you like Red Bull, but you would prefer it to have more some water in it, but more caffeine, dynamite it is for you. Four out of eight. Mm. Okay, so what did we learn from all of this? If you want the best quality, the best flavour, then according to me, you need Chinese lemon black tea. It's going to be this one. I think because it tastes so unusual. Right, and watermelon gets second place. But if you like flavour, then it's these. Thanks for watching. Bye. How's it like? <laughs> Spinning again. <laughs> Bye!